Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is a new face <laughs> that you don't ever see, really. You may have heard his voice either during live streams or videos. But this is my boyfriend, my partner, Zach. Hello. I'm gonna be doing his makeup today because why not? So we were going to do quite extravagant, colourful look, but this one has never had makeup on the face before. The poor eyeballs aren't prepared. I'm going to be doing an almost full face, if not full face. But the main colour that Zach wants is green. Yes, I do like my greens. Main palette I was thinking of going through with this beauty, got old man by Mitchell. Oh, the pretty colours. Yeah, well, there's the green in there. That one's quite nice. It's just called. Ain't, I guess, because the name's grass, ain't greener. Yeah, ain't. Bittersweet, that one's a really fun, almost pastel green. That's one of the greens. This one has a really nice green. Kiwi. Mm. Like, it's almost green, like that shape. Beautiful green. Yeah, and the one right next to it, the fruit dove. A fruit, yeah, fruit dove. Interesting, I haven't used that shimmer before. This one was one that I quite like the look of. It's got a really grungy green shade. This is the Erd palette from Odin's Eye. This one, Hank and Henry Poison palette. Pose Sun Ivy. Just that green in there. The name of it's Pose Sun Ivy. It's a poison palette. So everything's all like poisons. So Anthrax, Strychnine, Nightshade, Foxglove, Polonium. Very, 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 very vibrant. It wasn't the most green impressive performance wise. I haven't really used that green, but that was like a and maybe the green shimmer in this is fun so that shade's called jalapeno or jalapeno however you want to pronounce it this is the fuego palette from hank and henry that looks like the sort of green that i painted on my car mm, it is a very similar it's like a very tropical green and then this is the friends makeup revolution color palette and that has some fun greens inside of it but I haven't used them, I've only really played with the shimmer. This bigger purple one, Trust. But those greens look fun, close, memory. Me, yeah, I was more so thinking the Made by Mitchell ones for the green. Is that what you think of the Made by Mitchell green? Yeah. I'll probably smoke it out with what's in the Erd palette. Is there any particular shimmer you would like on that lid? I can do a shimmery lid. What would you put? What would you suggest? Well, I'd, I'd probably go with something icy. Some of these would be fun. Could also, could always put this beauty right here, which is looking all sorts of different. Your baubles from Glamour Matrix, or even this one, which, yeah, cornflower. Cornflower was fun. Bloom too, as well. But I'd probably more so maybe go with one of these two. Or even that one could be kind of fun with green. Mm. That one, um, that one's... Is that pink and green? It's fire orchid. Get it out without trying to drop the pan. Yeah, fire orchid. That one does look very interesting. And then there's also this fun, deeper green, which on camera at the moment looks very... Red. 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 I think you can kind of Copper. see the green there. That one I probably wouldn't use, but no. Either that one. That one or that one. Yeah, I'm the, playing the pinker one. That one. Yeah. So that would be a fun one to put on the centre of the lid. First going in with this, which is an eye primer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Making your eyeballs very white. Close my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Doing eyes first, just because I want to make sure I can Get it look decent. Can you look up for me, please? I want to get it looking decent on the eyes, and then I can just do the, the foundation and such all around. This will at least make it a bit easier for me to get green and all that on the eyeballs. And I can put this a little bit all over the place because I'm not going to be putting green all over where I'm actually placing this, but this will help blend into the face makeup too. I'll probably first dip in to Ain't. Actually going in with the Mama Mitchell brush too. I'm not going to be doing two 
bright of colours because Zach's poor eyes aren't really used to shadows that much. But I will have fun getting it beautiful and green for you. Mm. And while I'm playing this, did you want to talk a little bit about yourself? Or did you just want to set me to make up? I'm just enjoying this. That's Somewhat fun. peaceful. I, can I mean, it depends on what people want to know about me. I mean, you can just talk about yourself a little bit, like how old you are, where you grew up, yeah, what can, your interests are. I can't even are. remember my own age half the time. I think I'm like what, 29 or something. Can you look up for me, please? Yeah. Born in 93. Yes. Good year. Mm -hmm. Good old Tasmania. Mm. Down in Huon Valley, where we used to have apple orchards. It's actually still very known for its apples to this day. Whenever we get the occasion to have the juices that are produced from there, it's always a good time. Mm. Look up for me. How are you finding that on your apple? Yeah, it's fine. I'm trying not to be. I don't know where my head is. I think I've been tilting my head it's upwards. It's okay. You, I have enough in in the frame that it's not that big of a deal. And people will forgive you. This is first time on camera after all. Mm. But I'm just they're wooding up the green. I've had some sort of makeup put on for when I did a film. Mm. Fun time. Mm. Do you remember what that film was about? Yeah, it was called The Silence of War. A veteran from the wars and it was he couldn't get funding or something like that for his hearing aid and had to make his own hearing aid. Were there many other people that were actually in the with you and what was your role more so? Um, my role was more like the filmmaker and at the end it was like I was a friend of the soldier. Mm. Um, we did have a IT teacher that sort of did a little bit of acting as well. He was like a, a taxi. Okay. He sort of writ out a sign that sort of we put sticky tape down the side of his car and it actually kind of looked like a, a real taxi. I remember years ago when I was in high school, I did a um, musical. We did Grease and we actually, for the stage production, ended up gutting a beetle or something like that and um, used it as a prop on the stage. Hmm which was lots of fun and just giving some more depth to the greens that are on your eyeball. For those who don't know in Australia, for the later years of education, you can kind of elect your oh, courses. like when you're in college. Yeah, yeah, older. So like, did you want to talk about what you elected for yourself? I sort of did. Uh, computer graphics at a university level. There was, I think, two different levels. There was a, a certificate two and a certificate three, which was more like a upper, higher end, which means you had to do a lot more work mm. in doing that. And I actually enjoyed it. And Did you want to look up for me, please? I need to look up for me a little bit. I enjoyed that. I did pretty well computer graphics. I had actually sort of done big rendered movie scenes with trucks and highly like detailed models, but they took forever. Mm -hmm. That kind of, you know, didn't, it was kind of fun to do, but didn't really sort of interest me as, you know, a place that I'd go into doing jobs but I thought you know in maybe an industry that I would be happy to be like mechanics 
so that I can still use it as like later on in doing more interesting work of vehicles or making body kits and modeling and stuff like that. I did automotive uh, body works, so all stuff about cars. So I'm a bit car crazy. Look at the apples. Mm. I'm getting into adding some stuff so you get more shiny. So I'll probably get to look down for a little bit. I'm using some of the Danessa Marix paint because I find that this is shiny on its own. But I like to layer shadow over the top of it. And it kind of makes that shadow more shiny too. But I used to be a little bit of a rat bag at school and wag a lot of my classes. <laughs> Naughty, can you look down for me? Uh, everyone does it. I have their moments at the very least. I definitely was more like that in later years, not in primary school or high school. Yeah, well, it was like sort of the, the only time that you sort of had freedom. It's like you had one usually time that you had that you could elect off for a certain amount of time, but then some people would just be like, ah, oh, stuff this. Because some days you had like an hour's class and then like a lunch break and then like a two hour class, and you were like, why am I waiting for this one hour class? Yeah, I think I'm going to add some purple underneath just to make it a funny accent. I'm going to go into a mood, which is this purpley fun shade. Just look up for me, please. Just to add an interesting shade in there. Because I like have fun with colour and placement. I'm also going to be putting some shimmer underneath here too and it will also kind of blend in nicely with the darker reflex in the shade that I put on the upper lid. Hmm. also did model making. I'm going to go in with this brighter shade to add a bit more of a brighter colour. Yeah, talking about the model. Yeah, we used to do all sorts of models, make, you know, well, make little slot cars. If you had any, like, models of, you know, the Warhammer or anything similar to that, like Gundam or those sort of car assemble model, model things, you were allowed to do that in the class, but I made a, uh, a tugboat or a a sort of a half or a scale of it. Mm -hmm. Still not completely finished, but I've done the majority of it at school, which was fun. Also helped out the teacher do some of their work. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you also had the, those classes tended to be the classes that some of the not so nice kids or the kids that you sort of were like, oh, why you actually picked this class? Well, the only reason they picked the class because it was like they thought it was easy and they could bludge around, but... but it's not actually that way. No. It's tried and true KVD tattoo liner. This one shouldn't be too bad feeling either. Probably just feel odd having something on the eyeball. Yeah, well, it feels like it's like a fine line um, texture or something like that for yeah. lining. It's kind of like a yeah, it's kind of like a felt tip or well, it's a brush tip with this one in particular. Um, can you look up for me, please? Beautiful. Jobs is another one. Mm-hmm. 
You want to talk about jobs that you've done? Yeah, that's about that one's making my eye a bit teary. <laughs> it will do. I'm sorry. Nah, it's all good. Do you want to look up for me, please? I did some volunteering work at a school farm, helping out kids and dealing with farm animals. It's probably as even as I'm going to get them with trying to work with the way I'm going, but they actually look pretty good. Mm, pretty they even. Do. I'm happy with that. Mind you as well, it's does get a little bit smudgy and crinkly, which is fine. We can go for a messy, grungy look. Can you open your eye and look up? This probably will feel a bit weird. But I promise it's not going in your eyeball. It's just underneath the eyelashes, which probably feels very odd. This fun shade right here, which is also from Glaminatrix, all of these are from Glaminatrix. Mm -hmm. So we first went in with this beautiful fire orchid, which is going all shiny on your lid. It's actually pulling more green with everything else. But this shade's called Sundown, and that's going to go on the end of the corner and over the top of that purple. It's, it's much more shiny in person. Probably, there we go. <laughs> Just shiny. Who <laughs> fun. Yeah, if I open my eyes a little yeah, wider. Yeah, it's fun. So with this one, I basically will get you to open your eyes wide. And now blink. Open your eyes wide. Now blink. Open your eyes wide. Now blink. Fabulous. Put some on light lashes. Now I want you just to keep your eyes open and try not to move too much. You're doing pretty good considering. Mm -hmm. I know it probably feels weird. Now this is going to feel a bit weird, but to go with the grungy look, I'm going to plop a little bit down here. It's sometimes fun, and it gets the eyeball kind of a bit more smoky looking as well. So I'm going to gentle... Probably doesn't feel the nicest. My last job, I was a vehicle detailer, or mm. car detailer. Going in with some Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. This is going to be priming for foundation, which I'm hoping what I'm going to use will be a bit closer to what will be a match for you compared to when I tried it, because we're not too dissimilar mm, in yeah. depth in the face. I'm hoping it's a little bit closer to what will match you, the forehead. But it also could just be like, not suit me. <laughs> we'll find out, that's the fun part of doing this. Mm. This one. Actually, this isn't too bad on you. Makes it easier for me to do this, at least. If, if the colours aren't too off. Mind you, I'm not doing the like, thickest layer. Just more so doing it to even out. The skin tone all over, mm -hmm. but you will have smoother looking skin from afar on camera. Look at it on my hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's very Stands different. It's like, it's like orange, orange. Yeah. Actually, for bronzer, because you're a bit darker, going in with this shade here. This is from the design brand. This is one of the products that my mum gave me and I did a video playing with this stuff while drunk sometimes. <laughs> I'm going in with Star Gems little angled contour type brush. I'll also be kind of using this in a way to sculpt your face a bit as well. What I'm kind of placing now, I also have blush go around it and the blush itself will also come into play with the shaping. And for blush, going to be going in this beautiful Pat McGrath palette. And I'm actually going to be going in with this middle shade because I feel like it will go nicely with your skin tone and also with this kind of look. And I like blush a bit everywhere as well. I think it adds a bit of nice colour and, ha and health to the skin. Also got the smallest little bit. 
center on your nose too. This is the hard part too because highlighter. What to make your face shiny with? What to make it shiny with? I don't know. This is Colourpop's Super Shock Highlighter in Flexitarian. Fabulous. Doesn't take a lot. It's extremely shiny. Like, look at that. Mm. See if I can get you to turn your hair a little bit that way. Now, if you tilt your head down, that way. Look at that. Ooh! Mm. <laughs> now, if you move your head around a little bit, you'll see the. It's a beautiful and shiny. Mm, yes. You could do a dash, shall I? Mm. Now I'm going to spritz you a little bit with some spray to help kind of hydrate the skin. So I'm going in with the Becca Hydra Mist powder. With the, the Tarty Beauty Little Love Heart. I'm not going to be using much of this. Just some kind of these. The central area of the face. Just to help. Mattify that area specifically. Like I don't know if you can kind of see that little subtle difference between this side. Powder where on this side it's almost like smooth yeah. that center. It's really cool. How powder does this on camera. Which is why I'm just putting it in this centre point. So it almost does pull your face in fun magical ways. Because makeup fun. Now I'm going to do lipstick. I think I'll go with American Woman. This is one of my favourite lip shades ever. It's so beautiful. I like this applicator because it makes it easy for getting pretty precise. It is a bit difficult if you get fidgety. Mm. Which you are, which I get. Because it probably also feels kind of funky. Did you want to potentially try me getting some lashes on you? Mm, probably <laughs> no. I'll do the last little touch which will just be adding some gloss to your lip so you have a nice shiny glossy lip. Probably feel also a bit strange because it be like thick feeling but it doesn't move. It's very strange. Now you've got very shiny glossy lips. Mm. I've played video games, I always seem to go with like the matte lips. <laughs> you like the look? Yes I do, very it's much. So shiny. <laughs> Would you like to, me to do your makeup again? Yeah, you can do my makeup again. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I at least get access to the face again. Mm. So I'm not banned. I'm not in the not in the shit list. I got you looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, I'm glad you enjoyed. I hope everyone else enjoys it as well. <laughs> yes, and I hope you all had fun, enjoyed, and found this beautiful experiment interesting. <laughs> And we'll see what we'll come up with next time. I'm quite happy with the end result. This is the first time I've actually done proper makeup on a person in a long time. Mm. COVID really made it so difficult. And the first time I've done makeup on you. I had fun. You look beautiful. <laughs> I had fun. I hope everyone else had fun. <laughs> mm. Oh well, thank you all for watching. Love hearts from Tasmania, Australia. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we're going in with beautiful. Only problem is I want to like scratch my, you know, corner. <laughs> it, it will, it will feel a bit odd. So, blink.